Hey creatives, welcome to the Connect Fonts desktop overview video. This video is designed to give you a quick introduction to the Connect Fonts desktop application. In Connect Fonts, there are just a few main components. The toolbar, the font libraries, document tracking, smart searches, and the preview area. What follows is a basic introduction to each of those components. First, the toolbar. The toolbar allows you to perform most functions using your favorite tools located right within the toolbar. You can customize the toolbar to your preferences by right-clicking on the toolbar and selecting Edit. The Libraries pane allows you to access all of your libraries, including Team Libraries, Personal Libraries, and Google Fonts. Each of these are synchronized to our Extensus's cloud service. You can also access your local libraries. The Libraries pane also shows third-party libraries such as Adobe Fonts if they've been activated through the Adobe Creative Cloud service. System font libraries are also shown here but cannot be edited or deleted. You can also create sets within each library or even application sets to aid in your organization even further. If you need to install or add fonts to Connect Fonts, simply drag and drop a folder of fonts onto any of your team, personal, or local libraries, and those fonts will be automatically added for you. Document tracking is another enhancement to the auto activation plugins. Document tracking provides a list of documents saved with a particular font and provides general font usage information about that document. Connect Fonts either allows you to manually add documents by dragging and dropping onto the document tracking area, or Connect Fonts can automatically track documents created in the creative applications that have our auto activation plugins installed. Smart searches aid in organization and are beneficial if you use the same search criteria over and over again. To create a smart search, go to Edit and Find Fonts, and then enter your criteria. When you click on the Save button, your smart search will become saved in the lower left-hand corner of Connect Fonts. Here you can find that smart search at any time. The Connect Fonts main preview area allows you to view and even customize the way you view your fonts. In the preview area, you can favorite a font, activate a font, or click on the I button to drill into more information about where you can view the metadata or properties of that font. The information panel also displays a customizable preview, ways you can find similar fonts in your library using our Quick Match tool, view glyphs, and even view documents that use that font. The preview controls at the bottom of Connect Fonts offer four different preview types. You can select between Tile, Quick Type, Waterfall, or ABC123. With any preview, you can group or ungroup font families by using Command E on the Mac or Control E on a Windows computer. If you can't remember those, you can also select grouping or ungrouping through the Connect Fonts view menu. You can also adjust how you sort and view your fonts by filtering using the Sort By drop-down menu. As you can see here, we have a few different choices. Okay, now that we've covered the user interface, there's some additional functionality that's important for your success with Connect Fonts. The Attributes panel allows you to drill in and obtain even more detail about your selected fonts. By clicking on any font or group of fonts, use the contextual menu to access the Attributes panel. You can also edit the attributes of any font or group of fonts by clicking the Edit Attributes button in the toolbar. You can apply, edit, such things as classifications, foundries, styles, or even apply custom tags to help aid in the organization of your fonts or help you when you're searching for fonts. Connect Fonts also has a built-in font cache cleaner for the Mac OS. 
This will help you clear the caches of your operating system and applications that interact with Connect Fonts. If you find yourself experiencing performance issues with auto activation or just general sluggishness, we recommend using the Font Cache Cleaner built into the Mac OS Connect Fonts application. Preferences are the user control center of Connect Fonts. In Preferences, you can select whether or not Connect Fonts auto updates, controls where your fonts are kept on your computer, additional activation options, the location of your font vault, or you can even stop and quit Connect Fonts from this panel. Plugin management is also available from the Connect Fonts drop down menu. If you plan to use the Adobe Auto Activation plugins, Connect Fonts will automatically install these plugins when you initially install the Connect Fonts application. If for any reason your plugins are not up to date or installed, you can select the Install All Plugins button or go to each program through the drop down menu and manually update each individually. Okay, finally, we invite you to view our latest web version of Connect Fonts or engage in some productivity tips. Both of these shortcuts are located in the menu bar. These shortcuts will take you to our Connect Fonts web interface where you can find even more helpful tools and information. Okay, thank you so much for watching our Connect Fonts desktop overview video. Please check out more of our training videos to learn more about Connect Fonts.